Okay, now let's tackle a problem that at first sight seems very difficult. But if you just put all that you understood to practice and take it piece by piece, it's actually not that bad and demonstrates a very important idea in geometry, a very important skill, which is called angle chasing. Angle chasing is the idea that you need to find out as many angle congruencies as you can. What are all these angles possibly equal to or how can I express them as a variable or an expression? Well, let's start out with the simplest ones like, for example, vertical angles. Vertical angles are certainly equal, so these two must be equal. And a similar idea will show me that these two are equal. Okay, now what else can I do? Well, if I am being observant, I can notice that uh, we have four pairs or two pairs of parallel lines a b c d is one pair a d b c is another pair so what can i do with this information well if i look at two parallel lines like a b and b c they're going to be my parallel lines and i have a transversal there's a couple of them, but I'm only going to focus on one transversal, that being DC. I'm going to ignore DB, even though it's there. But I'm going to focus on AB and DC as my parallel lines and see what we can do from there. I'm sorry, not a AD and BC as my parallel lines and DC is my transversal. So, now, alternate interior angles are the same. So, this angle I marked here, and this one here, alternate interior. And vertical angles are the same, so we get that. All these angles I have just marked, 3x minus 15. Now, a similar idea is what I can use to get with uh, the 3y plus 15. So if I say that AB and DC are my parallel lines and AD is my transversal, then let's do the same logic. So I'm going to say that this is alternate interior with this angle at A that I marked. And same idea, this is vertical. So now I got something. I have a couple equations I could write. I think one reasonable one would be, well, I have a, a couple straight angles I can work with. How about this straight angle going from here to here? What is that equivalent to? Well, I got 3y plus 15 plus 3x minus 15 equals 180. Now plus 15 minus 15 easy cancellation so we get 3y plus 3x equals 180. Okay now uh, I can factor out. I have a GCF of 3. That's something we can do. Y plus X equals 180. And then finally we can simplify Y plus X is by dividing 3 on both sides. Y plus X will get me 60. Now, that's fine, but I still have two variables. So what can I do with those two variables? Now it's time to start looking at that extra line uh, DB, that weird transversal that is 
seems to be kind of like in the way of things. Now let me erase some of this stuff here since I hope at this point we understand what angles are going to be the same and what angles aren't going to be the same. Now let's examine. It's telling me that specifically that this is Y. Now that's interesting. Maybe if I can find out what this is I can get somewhere. Well what does it seem to be? Well, I have an X over here, sure. Um, well, what can I do with that? I don't know. Well, I have. we can examine any of the pairs of parallel lines that we want. For example, let's examine DC and AB as our parallel lines. Actually, scratch that. Let's use BC and AD, because that'll get us a result that I'm already working my way towards. So BC, AD, parallel lines, and BD is our transversal. Now, transversal means that, if I, let's look at the interior of our parallel lines around here. Okay, that's their interior. And this is lying on my transversal. So, what can I do about that? Well, I can say that these two angles are alternate interior. The X here and the X here. Again, inside the parallel lines within the transversal. And I actually made a mistake when I shaded it in last time. This is the interior I should be focusing on. This interior. So they're in that interior, opposite sides of the transversal. So now I know that this, this entire angle is x plus y. The entire, entire thing. Well, that's interesting because that is just, well, it's 60 degrees. But how does that help me solve for x or y? Well, what I also had found out earlier was that this very same angle here is the same as 3x minus 15. So if x plus y and 3x minus 15 are that same angle, I get the following equation, 3x minus 15 equals x plus y and hopefully you can see what I'm about to do x plus y as we know is 60 we get 3x minus 15 simply add the 15 over to get 75 and then it's just a simple uh, calculation of 75 divided by 3 which would get us x is equivalent to 25 now that's what x is how can I find out what y is well y we can also just I mean we have a couple choices one of them is fairly simple. Let's just use this equation. And instead of x, we can just plug in 25. So y plus 25 equals 60. So all that would get us y is equal to 30. Five. Therefore, in a relatively simple manner, even though this looks like a complicated diagram, we have found a solution just knowing basic facts about parallel lines. And by taking the complexity of the diagram and making it as simple as possible imagining only two parallel lines and one transversal at a time.